Hello everyone, this is another episode of the uh, Tell It Over, uh, which is new to IFGF uh, Thanksgiving retreat this year, and hopefully it will become a tradition for the upcoming years. Uh, for the first person tonight, we have, um, can you say your name and where you're from, please? Uh, my name is Ari, I'm from Austin, Texas. Okay, great. So, um, uh, which one, which sermon today that struck you the most? Uh, today, the sermon that struck me the most was second session mm -hmm. uh, for today, which is, I think Catherine brought that sermon. Mm -hmm. And uh, what what touched you the most about that sermon? What did you learn? Um, it was just something fresh. I guess I never seen or heard someone talking about or teaching about going to the next and higher level that way. Mm -hmm. We always thought that, you know, Going a higher level means we have to do this and this and that mm -hmm. to go to the higher level. Mm -hmm. But he said that we need to go down mm -hmm. in order for us to go to the next level, mm -hmm. which I think uh, was spot on, mm -hmm. at least for my situation. Mm -hmm. because, how, how is that so? Um, well, lately, I've, and I've shared this with a few people that I think I'm... Uh, a more a more self-centered person. Okay. It's always been about me. And what's funny today was actually when Kevin was talking about how you need to go down mm -hmm. and keep repeating that over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I try to have a quiet time um, and I try to pray. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is it's still about me. Mm -hmm. I still pray about me, which tell me which letting me know that this is actually an area that I need to work on. I guess. Mm -hmm. So. Um, did you, did, do you feel that you're learning something new that that was really something that, you know, exceed your expectations? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's fresh the way um, all the sermons has been. It's, uh -huh. it's all new. I thought being a person that, you know, I've been to this church retreat for the uh, next four years. Mm -hmm. You know, I know coming to this retreat, I have certain expectations. You know, I want to have um, a better relationship with God. Uh -huh. But... By, this is actually exceed my expectation, and I actually do recommend uh, those who have come to this retreat maybe for ten years, or maybe this is is this your first time, Sabrina? Yeah, it is. Right. I also encourage you um, to have an expectation, mm -hmm. and I know God speaks to their people in many different ways. He'll speak to me or to you in one way, but for people that has been going to the retreat for 10 years, you know, I know and believe that God has something to say in this retreat. Okay, so based on your experience this retreat, yeah. will you come back again next year? For sure. Okay, okay, great. Thank you, Ari. God bless you. So can you please introduce yourself, your name and the city that you're from? I'm, my name is Hunara, mm -hmm. and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Okay, great. So. Uh, from today's um, sermons, do you have any comments or feedbacks or person you want to um, share with us? I think what um, really hit me is from a sermon uh, from Pastor Somi. Okay. Um, which is uh, about um, change by God. Mm -hmm. um, it really um, remind me about I need to move forward, mm -hmm. not just to be flat, you know, just just to be just like a normal people, Christian guy. Mm -hmm. I need to be more um, different because mm -hmm. that's how um, God made me. Each each of us is unique, mm -hmm. and I really um, reminded when Pastor uh, Somi said that um, you always uh, have to have a heart. Mm -hmm. Um, to to change to be ready to change by God so always have the heart to always want to learn mm -hmm. and basically all the stuff that I've, I've been through that that been taught to me to be um, ready to be changed mm -hmm. every day um, basically that's that's what's, what's so uh, how many times have you gone to an IFGF retreat before in the past? 
Um, this is my second time, so. Okay. Yep. So, this do you is. have any feedbacks or comments? I really do uh, recommend this uh, retreat, mm -hmm. especially for all you young guys and. Uh, I, I want to say that it will be a blessing for you guys. It's uh, definitely a, a good chance to interact with each other, uh, um, your friends, your Christian friends, and get to know um, that you're not alone and you have friends who, who is in your age that's fighting the same, um, Struggle. same struggles. And basically, we're trying to help each other in here. That's why a church is for. So I really recommend this uh, retreat. So would you say that um, this retreat is different from your first one? Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> Did you learn something new? Always, always, always new because okay. um, we always have something new going on, new theme, and this one is the next level. And uh -huh. I really think that it's a... Uh, it's, uh, uh, the one that I told you about Pastor Sonny's uh -huh, comment yeah. is one of the things that we need to to uh, take as the step to the next level so to be changed by God. So are you ready to go to the next level? Yes, just like the video says. Okay, thank you. All right. So can you introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, my name is Edward from Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. So, is this your first time going to an IFGF retreat? Oh yeah, of course, this is like my first time uh, coming here. Actually, I just moved from Pensacola Christian College from Pensacola, oh. Florida. Uh -huh. And I moved here, I, I joined the IFGF and uh, they say that they have an annual retreat, so i kind of interested in joining. How do you like it so far? I really like it though. <laughs> it's really, really, really good. Like a really, really good experience. Such a, such a word, especially for just like a cheap money and stuff like that. And Rather than you spending like your whole day doing nothing, mm -hmm. it is much better just to come and search God mm -hmm. and to know God more. So, um, why do you like it? Uh, I don't know, like, uh, like the sermon is, is really good, like it really ex uh, surpassed my expectation. Mm -hmm. uh, for the sermon itself, like if I have to choose mm -hmm. how, uh, which one I prefer, I cannot choose it because all of them are good. Okay. But one, one of the sermon that really struck my heart is uh, the one this morning on session two mm -hmm. uh, by uh, Pastor Herman, Herman Ong, I uh -huh, believe. Uh -huh. Yeah, like the way he approached the parable mm -hmm. where, where the widow need the money and then uh, she has to gather up like a file, like a lot of files so mm -hmm. that it can be filled by, by the, uh, by the uh, oil. Mm -hmm. It is like the ways she approach, uh, he approached it that the vial itself is our body, the way we prepare our heart so that we can be fulfilled by the Holy Spirit, it's really struck my heart because a lot of time we know that there's an assurance that God will supply our need, but mm -hmm. a lot of time we don't, we don't even prepare our heart. We don't even willing to be fulfilled by God. Mm -hmm. So would you say that you learned something new from this retreat? Definitely, definitely. Uh, learning a lot from all of those uh, wise people, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, those uh, pe uh, pastor that is really being filled by the Holy Spirit really helped me to grow in, in the spirit itself. Okay. So, um, do you, are you trying to make a commitment for yourself? Once you get back, do you want to change something or do you want to ask God to change something in your life? Yes, definitely. Because like a lot of times, I've been uh, overcome by my flesh and a lot of time I really fail to expect uh, to to reach uh, like the goal that I want to to be to be serving God fully and through this retreat it really helps me to create a new commitment to God to serve God whole wholeheartedly mm -hmm. and like to do my best to be, to be able to please God so would you go again next year? Oh, definitely. I would I would recommend for all of those who don't join to this year, especially my friend who also come to Pensacola Christian College, they need to come. Like you guys really missed it. It's a really good experience and you guys really need to come. Cool. Thank you. So, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Val. I'm from Houston. Okay. 
Uh, and I heard you want to share something with us tonight. Um, yes. You can go ahead and share it. Yes, uh, I would like to talk about how God has flipped my, you know, my whole life experience from last year. Mm -hmm where I came into, a, I guess you would say, a near-death experience. Oh, okay. And, you know, at one moment, I was just, you know, a pharmacy student, just, you know, doing my education and, you know, thinking that, you know, everything is good, life is going the way I want it, and, you know, how I have all these, you know, dreams and all this, goals in my life, you know, I already have a set schedules where, you know, after I graduate, I will, you know, get married and, you know, have kids and, you know, get all, you know, be living in a house somewhere uh -huh. and just living the dream, you know, uh -huh. I have like certain set of goals and uh -huh. all this expectation. Like you have and your then, life plan out for you? Yes, exactly. It's mm -hmm. just like, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to graduate and Five years from now, I'm gonna get married, get a, you know, get a house and mm -hmm. get kids and stuff like that. So what changed? It's mm -hmm. just all of a sudden. It's just I was this disease, you know, this illness, mm -hmm. meningitis and autoimmune mm -hmm. disease, you know, like mm -hmm. um, Guillain-Barré syndrome. Mm -hmm. It's just pretty much I God allowed me to go through it, you know, just. The sermons uh, from today kind of actually reminded me that, especially a sermon from Pastor Somi, okay. when you know he said that God would allow you to go, to allow you to go to certain things mm -hmm. in order to bring you mm -hmm. to the next level, mm -hmm. and I believe that is what was happening to me mm -hmm. when I, you know, when I was having that experience. Mm -hmm. So there I was, you know, when I was, remember when I was telling you before that I had, you know, all this dream, all figured out uh -huh. everything, and it's just like something in the back of my mind, you know, when I, I was having this, uh, having to go through this disease, mm -hmm. that it's like, who are you to be able to tell what's going to happen in the future? You don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow, mm -hmm. and it's just like, it was like an eye opening, mm -hmm. you know, like you don't even know what's going to happen in the next minute, mm -hmm. let alone a year from now. Mm -hmm. Who are you? You know, just like it just kind of reminds me of that verse from the Bible, you know, like, um, you know, don't go to a certain place and say you're going to do this and you're going to do that. And then not even involving God, you know, mm -hmm. and you should instead you should say that. If God is willing, mm -hmm. then I will do this and I will do that, mm -hmm. you know, but glory be to God, mm -hmm. you know, instead you should be doing that, not just out of your own understanding, I mean, out of your own thinking. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of arrogant. I was just like, yeah, I got this, you know, I got mm -hmm. this life figured out, everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. But then bam, you know, this thing happened and just like, I was pretty much paralyzed, you know, and I spent two to three months in the hospital. Oh, wow. And I couldn't, you know, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't mm -hmm. talk, mm -hmm. and I couldn't even walk, you know, I'm pretty much bedridden mm -hmm. for three months. Mm -hmm. And then I have to get like tracheostomy, put it here, mm -hmm. in order for me to be able to breathe. Okay. So that whole experience was. It was just so mind-boggling to me, you know, because I never expected it would. I would have to go through something like that. But do you do you now realize that God has brought you to the next level through that experience? Yes, definitely. Because after that, I just see. I was just reminded just how fragile, you know, how fragile <coughs> human life is, mm -hmm. because and how awesome God is actually. Yeah. Because, you know, the doctor, one of the doctors at the hospital actually told me that even if I was to recover, mm -hmm. that I would have to be wheelchair bound. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's a big chance I'm going to be wheelchair bound and even become paraplegic. But God has another, 
and purpose, and you know. And here you are today. Yeah, and then it was just, I was just reminded by uh, one of the verse from the Bible, you know, that, that, uh, that Christ has been risen mm -hmm. and he has been exalted mm -hmm. far above all principality, mm -hmm. all rulers, mm -hmm. and all names, mm -hmm. all dominions, mm -hmm. not only in this age, mm -hmm. but also in the age to come. And I was just reminded of that whenever, you know, whenever I, whenever I remember about these incidents. Mm -hmm. And I just want to thank you so much for, you know, IFGF Houston and mm -hmm. IFGF Dallas for all the support that mm -hmm. they've given me, you know, especially mm -hmm. IFGF Houston, you know, Pastor Somi mm -hmm. and Bumutia mm -hmm. and also Tanta Mary and also Pastor Christina. Mm -hmm. and I mean, they've been there for me, you know, pretty much like. FGF Houston has been like the principal of my faith growing up, you know, ever since I was here in Houston. Mm -hmm. And also from IFGF Dallas and, you know, O'Harry and mm -hmm. all those people, I mean. And also I, I am very thankful to my mom and my dad because before I was kind of like, I wasn't really having a really good relationship with them, but this experience just totally flipped me outside, in, you know, inside out pretty much. And it's just, it's just amazing. I mean, God is an awesome God, seriously. Thank you for the inspiring testimony. God right. bless.